everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another pick a card. Today we're going to be doing a single AF reading. So this is going to be you guys who have been single for quite a while or you're just wanting a partner or you're just wanting to know what's happening for you guys in, in your love life. So we have group number one, two, three and four. I'm going to be putting the crystals on the decks now. Okay, so we have group number one with the Selenite Tower, group two with the Small Caribbean Calcite Tower, group three with the Pink Opal Tower, and group number four with the Rhodonite Tower. So please choose your group now and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. So those of you who chose this gorgeous big old boy, he is a big old boy, Selenite Tower. I love this chunky guy. He's a cutie. So we're going to put him right there. All right, so let's get the rest of your cards here. So let's see what's going on for you guys in your love life and let's see what's going on. So first card we have. Ooh, I'm excited, girl. I'm excited. We have the New Beginnings, number 44. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Yes, queens. That is a good start. Yes, love that. Okay, I'm excited. I'm pumped up now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> wow, throat chakra stuff coming through hot and heavy. So... We also have North Node, Life's Purpose. We have 11th House of Friends, beautiful. Massive amounts of changes for you guys, and not just in love as well, which is really good. We have the Waxing Crescent. We have Saturn. That could also be in the reverse as well, so we'll have a look at that in different positions. And then we also have the Camel, and the energy coming towards you is the Cheetah, beautiful. Okay, so. First of all, really strong energy around that Saturn. I'm getting a very nice calming energy around the camel. I feel like the camel's very calm. He's just a guy, he's chilling, he's not really bothered. He's kind of like, yeah, it's hot out here, but I'm not bothered, you know? <laughs> yeah, there's drama, I'm not bothered. Yeah, I'm single, I'm not bothered, you know? So he's not bothered, girl, he's not bothered. So what I'm feeling is that for you guys, you just really don't mind that, I mean, obviously you want to have somebody, you want a, a lovely, strong connection in your life. You want strong connections as well. I do feel as if you have come to a place of acceptance or you're coming to a place of acceptance. And we also have the waxing crescent and the waxing crescent represents, uh, let me have a look in the book here, setting intentions, planting a seed for what you want to accomplish during this cycle. And the fact we have the Saturn, you guys could be going through like a really strong Saturn return. It could also mean that you guys are essentially going into a gigantic new cycle. This is kind of what I'm feeling along with the Aquarian energy of the Aquarian age coming in around December next month of me actually filming this video. Obviously this is a timeless video anyway, but I'm feeling really breathless and <coughs> very coffee around this reading. So I do feel like you guys are working on your heart and your throat chakra heavily. So if you guys are getting really strong chest pains, throat pains, thyroid issues, throat stuff, sometimes it could be a cold or flu but it could also be energetic changes. So just be aware of that. You might be feeling a little bit coldy and thinking, oh no, I've got, you know, a cold or whatever, but just don't panic, okay? It's like, sometimes it is literally your energetic energy shifting. And so what if you get a cold? You know, you're gonna you're going recover a girl, okay? So you're gonna be fine. So what I'm feeling is there's definitely a gigantic, lovely energy of new beginnings around you and your love life. I am feeling this is kind of like you getting established first. So you're getting established with your life purpose and then your friendships and then everything else kind of goes along with it. I feel like I need to zoom out a little bit. Okay, I zoomed out a little bit. I feel like we're a bit close in. So I do feel like there's an energy around your life's purpose. I feel like there's a massive energy around you focusing on something and then going towards it and not really being bothered by things not happening. I feel like obviously, of course you are bothered. But I think you come into a really gorgeous energy of acceptance. And actually, this is the most best thing you could have done for yourself because you're actually bringing in this new beginning without any kind of forcing or any pushing you just being. And that's going to actually bring it in quicker because there's no external forces or your ego being like, no, you're never going to achieve that and blah, 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 you know, et cetera, et cetera. So we have the 11th house of friends. Your life purpose could be very much around connections, around love, around friendships. You could work with your friends. You could That could be part of your life purpose. It could be bringing your inner community. I do see you're gonna make some new friends. And I do see a massive new beginning around stability. Camels are very stable. They can handle a lot of weight. They can also handle a lot of 
um, kind of energy around different weathers, like a lot of heat, a lot of cold, you know, they can handle a lot of, a lot of stuff. So you have been through a lot of, a lot of stuff. You've been through a lot of levels. And I think they're saying, I think it's time for you to re reboot now. It's time to start anew. And that's, I think, what's happening with a waxing crescent is you're essentially setting intentions for something new to come around. And I keep getting drawn to this crystal card and it's just in, just in my view and it's Herkima Diamond, and I keep getting drawn to this crystal. So if you guys would like any custom piece on my shop, you can ask for a Herkima Diamond or anything from me if you would like to have a look at this and check this out. Really beautiful crystal. Let's have a look and see what it says. It says, when you're reaching for clearer than ever through spirituality, therapy, or healing work, brush off all those unwanted vibes with Herkima Diamond. Power wash your energy. So really it's just clearing your path for new energy. And because you may be very sensitive, it says, who needs it? Reiki masters, travelers on the spiritual path, highly sensitive people. So you may be very highly sensitive. And this could be an energy of like, you are there girl, you are there at the point of it all waiting for that new beginning to like jump and I'm getting massive amount of throat chakra stuff so you guys are so ready to start something new it's just you've got to be patient with yourself okay you really have to be patient with yourself but this is beautiful I'm gonna leave her there because she is stunning so okay so I really really love this I love the fact that we have 4-4 as well that could be like a really strong energy for you and the next card that <clears throat> excuse me I haven't addressed yet is a cheetah so this is the energy that you're bringing in, could also be your partner. So you could also meet a partner who has a very strong Saturn aspect, or they could be going through their Saturn return when you meet them. You, you could even both be going through your Saturn return. My hand is buzzing, that is so random. Oh, okay, interesting. So you guys might be Reiki masters or energy healers, because I've just got a massive amount of buzzing in my left hand. This is a feminine energy as well. The, the right is the, the male, from what I know, personal opinion right is the male left is the female so it might be you working on your feminine energy and bringing in that feminine lightness that open-hearted energy so the cheetah is all about moving quickly moving fast but in a really good way this is not rushing this is not pushing this is just like okay you're letting me out let's go let's go let's go you know i'm ready i'm prepared let's get this started so the fact that you're very calm and then it's like zoom i feel like you're just waiting for the right timing and i don't think it's a rushing energy it feels like i know exactly what i'm doing girl it's just a matter of time until things can start getting off the ground so this is the energy that's coming in towards you fast pace could be an aries coming towards you as well and it could be also an air sign. My hands are doing really weird stuff. My, my, hand, my fingers keep dropping like that. It's really weird. Like it's almost like I have no control over my hands. That is really weird. I've never had that in a reading before. You guys are special. <laughs> okay, so that is really interesting. So that is, I like that. That's good. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the tarot and we're going to see what's going on with you and your energy and kind of just things shifting so let's see what's going on for you in your love life let's see what's coming towards you oops okay so we have the queen of cups yes look at this girl she is thriving i love this in your own little bubble which is nice really protecting yourself, really looking after yourself. I love that. So you are just doing fine. I think you're just doing great. I mean, if you're not doing great, obviously my heart goes out to you, girl. But if you're doing good, that's amazing. I mean, look at him. He's nice. Mm, hi. So I feel like you're definitely manifesting somebody quickly. Um, and because you are focusing on yourself, there's no worries about who this person is. It's kind of like, yeah, they're, they're cool. But, you know, I still want to focus on myself, which is great. Yeah, I love this. New direction, walking away. That's exactly what you're doing. You're walking away from just anything that just isn't on your vibration anymore. This is also including family members as well, I'm hearing. Um, I feel like a lot of this is definitely to do with just relationships in general, not, not specifically your soul partner, which I think is really nice. And then we have the spirit of swords, which is eagerness and tenacity. So I really feel like you are definitely on the right path. You're definitely, as the other card said, going towards your life purpose. Your life purpose could, could fully come into fruition when, or you fully find it when you meet your partner because they could be helping you to nurture yourself. 
And you could, I'm hearing you could have a young baby and you could meet somebody who could just really fall in love with you and your baby, which is so cute. Oh, I love that. It's so cute. Okay, so I definitely see marriage. Marriage is coming in fast and furious, girl. I'm not talking about the movie, but you might like that movie as well. I feel like you are really, really in the zone. I feel like you're really knowing where you're going and you might be confused about your love life right now. You might be thinking, well, I'm doing the work, where is my man's or my woman's or, you know, whoever. I feel like it's just a matter of timing. I feel like in the next two months is a really good time for you from filming this video. But also this is a timeless reading. So whenever you kind of come across this video, I feel like two months is a really good timing for you that new things are gonna to start to come in. And I do feel like with this new Aquarian age, this is gonna help shift a lot of our relationships forward. And I feel like you're gonna have a massive celebration when you meet your person because you're gonna have a lot more new friends and you're gonna possibly meet them through a friendship energy, like for a friend or a work colleague or a close family member who is more like a friend than a family member, like a cousin or something like that. It just feels really nice and yeah, I really, really like this. So I'm just going to clarify this King of Swords with the Empress. Let's clarify that King of Swords, please. Okay. Yeah, I think you're going to meet them when you were just hard at work. You're kind of not really bothered. You find them very intelligent though. You find them very, very, um, they have a really beautiful mind and they're very intelligent. There's somebody who's been let down a lot, so they might be quite slow in kind of coming into contact with you, but I do feel like you are somebody who they really love. They love your caring energy. They love how delicate you are. And you might be a Virgo. They may be a Virgo. But, you're, but because you've done the healing, the universe is not going to kind of... This isn't going to be delayed. I feel like it's very you're very much on track with this. You could even meet a King of Pentacles, so a Virgo... Wow, my brain just went absolutely silent then. <laughs> Virgo, Taurus. Oh my God, my brain has literally... Come on, come on, tell me what it is. Virgo, Taurus. What the frick? That is so weird. Guys, what is wrong? Okay, that is going to be your brain. When you meet this person, your brain is literally going to go... And you're literally going to forget everything that you can possibly remember. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Ooh, right. Let's have a look at this new direction. Where are you going? Hopefully somewhere where there's a brain <laughs> for me. Okay. So Knight of Wands. There we go. Right. Fast paced movement. Really letting things go quickly. I do feel like this person has a quite a slow moving energy. Being that King of Pentacles, normally King of Pentacles do move quite slow. So this person may pick up speed when they get more comfortable with you and you get more comfortable with them. They are somebody who they may be, let you lead for a little bit until they can start to feel more comfortable because they have been let down quite a lot and people have ghosted them a lot and they have really put in the effort for a lot of people who are the wrong people. So now they're going to start to obviously make the effort for you who are the right people. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you would like to purchase a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop, I sell all the crystals I featured in this video in my crystal shop. So all that information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. We have the gorgeous little baby Caribbean cow site. Look at the little cutie. I love him. He is so cute. Yes, queen. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys, for you guys who are single. Let's go, let's see what's going on. So, first card out, fertility. Boom. Okay, so let's all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. I love that. She's a queen. She's a bit scary. <laughs> Her eyes are like, hi. Uh, but no, she's really good. So I do feel like with the number 10 being shown here with the three and the seven, this is a really gorgeous energy around new things okay i'm got i got like a really dirty picture in my mind okay what do they look like to you guys because they look like something dodgy to me i'm not gonna say it because this is not an 18 plus reading but what do they look like to you let's just put that out there that is the fertility part girl <laughs> okay so let's have a look and see what else we have here in terms of your love life okay so self node life's debt i feel like group number one had north node let me see hang on yes that is so interesting oh i like those two together okay so i love this all right so 
It's interesting how we have this kind of weird little man thing here, like kind of like the back of it. And then on this one, it's the front. So you may feel as if everything is kind of turning its back on you and you're kind of not being able to be heard. So I feel like you're really, that's something that is being revealed and being, what's the word please? Diminished. Yeah, been diminished. It's, it's going, it's leaving your life. Okay. So we have Mars, Cancer, and we also have Pisces. So I do feel like you could be meeting somebody who is very, very intense. They have really intense desires for you, very sensual energy. Both of you are gonna be really attracted to each other. And this person could be a Cancer or a Pisces, could also be a fire sign as well. I do feel like that could be your energy as well. That could be the energy that you that you kind of give off or that could be your star sign or your rising. And I do feel like the fourth house, you may move house by the time you um, are in a relationship. If you've recently moved house, that's also a sign that you are gonna meet someone very soon. I do feel like your, your intuition is definitely heightening and I feel like you're gonna realize when the right time is to move if you feel like you need to move. If it's not a physical move, I feel like your body's gonna be physically changing and you may need to adapt using your diet and food and things like that. Also, if you can hear a motorbike, there's just a really loud one outside. Um, I do feel like you are now releasing things that are more intense and uncomfortable for you. So this is like your shadow elements, your ego, and you're really working on that. If you're not releasing it properly now, I feel like you're going to, you're working towards that, okay? I feel like I need to pull a crystal card for you guys. So let me pull a crystal card. Let's see what this self knows all about. What's this pertaining to, please? Okay. So we have... Apophyllite and Labradorite, both very, very high intuitive cards. I think you both, I think you both, <laughs> that's not right. I think you are working towards something that is more your life's path. And you may have been kind of putting it off because it may not have been able to earn you money or you may have been scared about starting it. I feel like this is leading you towards your love life because you're putting yourself first. And it may be that you're moving job as well. So we have Apophyllite. When the spiritual life feels like a moving target, when you feel skeptical about your true purpose, yes, queen, on earth, when you feel like your yeah, but thoughts are dishonoring the innermost you, and then we have this one. This actually is about Pisces, so you could be a Pisces. When you've lost your faith in magic, the world is a weird, wonderful, whimsical, watery rock hurtling through space, and you're on it, and that makes you special. Gaze into Labradorite and delight in that. Protect your magic. So this is very, very spiritual. I do feel like you're on a more spiritual path. So you could be doing a job that's more of your spiritual nature and that in turn could then you meet somebody who's very spiritual. I do feel like this could be a friend as well. You could meet a friend for your work. This may be kind of more working. You may you may meet someone more, more quicker when the you know, the world just kind of sorted itself out a little bit more <clears throat> when we have a little bit more freedom to kind of socialize and things like that, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, birthing a new you, that's pretty much what I heard from these two cards. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, let me just have some water. Wow, <clears throat> sorry guys, my throat is like really, really not having it. Okay, so cosmic egg, scorpion. The cosmic egg is all about you being reborn into your spiritual nature, but you're not fully there yet. It's kind of like you're still holding on to this energy. Wow, my throat is really hurt, and you guys are really working on your throat chakra, girl. This would be really good for your throat chakra, just letting you know. That may be why you chose it. So this cosmic egg is basically, I do feel like you are holding back a little bit of your emotions because you may be scared of trusting people or just trusting in the universe. And I feel like you may need to feel need to kind of sting others if they kind of get close to you, you maybe a Scorpio as well. I feel like you are becoming this really gorgeous goddess or God, you know, in an energy of kind of embracing your own inner power and not letting people tell you what to do. And this may be part of your life's purpose. This is the energy that's coming towards you. So it feels sensual, it feels intense, it feels, like desirable, this feels the same, but more closed. It feels like I have my desires, but I can't share them. And then this is like, girl, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go and do it, you know? So I feel like you're moving towards that. And we do have this cancer energy and then we have the scorpion. So I do feel like you heavily feel the need to protect yourself, but no more, no more of that kind of going on. Um, but I do feel like it's, 
it's time for you to protect yourself now and i feel like you're gonna you're gonna open yourself up more when you feel ready that's what i'm feeling so and that's when you're gonna be open more towards love so don't feel the need to pressure yourself you don't have to be perfect to be loved you don't have to be perfect to attract a relationship you just have to be in the right place at the right time for your soul to open up and have this energy be greeted to you so obviously the universe knows when it's the right time for us to have a relationship so i do feel like for you guys it's going to be a little bit longer than group number one but that's totally fine you know obviously you go with your intuition you go with whatever feels right for you because we do have the two of cups girl and that's really positive so okay so we have this practicality energy and we also have this like really strong love energy so i do feel like part of you is like no i'm not going to trust anyone because it's not practical wow this is gorgeous i feel like you guys are so ready for a new start and a lot of you guys are very much ready for a love i feel like some of you are a little bit skeptical because it's not kind of like a practical thing or it's not something that you can really okay you guys are very um tactile i feel like you guys are really somebody who likes to hold on to things and that makes you feel safe so the fact that you can't hold on to love and emotions kind of freaks you out a little bit i'm feeling so obviously take this as it resonates guys everyone is different i do feel like though if you can focus on your job and your desire for what you love out of life whether it be a hobby whether it be a like family members or something like that use that emotional energy to fuel this future because i feel like when it comes to your love life you do get scared of kind of being vulnerable and that's okay you know that will come with that but also when you learn to just open up and I feel like just trusting the universe and trusting the timing because you will be in the right place at the right time and I feel like meditation will really serve you. I love the peaceful energy around this card. I feel like the more peaceful you can get within yourself and knowing that this will just come whenever, when it's the right time, there's no point in like waiting around. Just be who you are in that time because you, do, you want to attract that person in because you want to be with somebody who's their authentic self. So you need to be your authentic self. So a lot of reflection and inward energy is going to be what you're kind of focusing on but i do feel like the more you focus on where it where your goal is and what you want to achieve i feel like that's really really going to help fuel you and help fuel your fire so i'm going to pull some astrology dice for you guys and i'm going to see i actually didn't pull this for group number one so i feel like to do it for you guys though let's see what's going on for group number two please okay so yeah you guys are very independent you guys are really working on just your career right now or your future in terms of money or education or something like that and we do have saturn which is like a really big energy it lasts for quite a long time you could be having your saturn return a lot of people are in the next coming few couple of years um, but I do feel as if you are definitely someone who's more practical and you are working on more stability I feel like you have um, possibly had a few one night stands or you've had um times with people that just haven't been on your wavelength and it may have caused you to feel kind of insecure about your love life i'm getting quite a lot of acid reflux so i do feel like your heart shark is really needing to kind of br be brought out um let me just pull a chakra card for you guys as well but i do feel like this is really good the sick house is all about taking care of yourself health so you could be starting a job with health you could meet someone through health as well possibly at the gym or through work or something like that spiritual awareness I really like the first quote at the top. When my mind sways negatively, I remind myself of love, truth, gratitude, and spirit. Lovely, that's gorgeous. Yep, heart chakra, beautiful. Compassion and forgiveness, wow. I have compassion for myself and those around me. I let go of anger, resentments, and torments from the past, and I do not give my power away to those involved. That's exactly what I'm feeling, you guys. And we also have the warrior. I embrace my inner strength, power and resilience and allow myself to shine. Perfect. So this is all about you and your inner strength. So I feel as if there's a lot of independent energy, but I feel like you'll need to just move through that. I feel like you'll just need to be independent for a while. And obviously you can be independent with, with somebody else, but I do feel like you'll need to just be by yourself for a little bit more so you can just move through this energy and then get to the other side because i feel like if somebody was to come into your energy in the next couple of weeks to couple of months i feel like it would mess up this soul pattern that you are you could have also been through a breakup recently as well which is why maybe it is a little bit too soon but obviously guys everyone is different and timing is different so just take it as it resonates also have 11 11 on the clock as well so that is your reading guys i do feel like love is coming towards you just a little bit more time working on yourself but it is coming okay so 
thank you so much for watching you guys are getting balanced you are getting love also i want to show you this two of cups it's gorgeous so this is about love and relationships so it is coming guys but balance within yourself is more important it was almost like also last thing i want to say is that looks like labradorite that little tiny droplet first of all which is so interesting because you guys got labradorite I'm pretty sure you just did. Wow, my brain is, my brain keeps going very numb today. Very interesting. I do feel like you and your partner, your future partner, you're both working on yourself. So essentially, your cup is being filled, their cup is being filled, but separately. Can you see there's like no people in this card, but both of you are getting your cup filled by each other. So you can see it's like invisible cord around each other. So you guys are actually interacting with each other just on an energetic level right now, okay? Supporting each other through the ethers. So Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, um, please subscribe to my channel if you feel drawn to. Also, if you feel drawn to get a private reading or have a look at my crystal shop, these crystals are available as well. So all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose pink opal, one of my favorites. It's such a gentle crystal and it's really good at opening your heart chakra. And it's actually just really good at helping support your heart chakra. And if you guys are uh, wanting to work on your intuition or you're wanting to work on doing some healing for yourself or others or doing any tarot, I do highly suggest pink opal because when you're holding it and doing readings or anything like that, like I do sometimes, it's really nice and it's very calming and it just feels like your heart chakra can really be supported. So very good, highly recommend. Okay, so first card out we have. Oh, girl, this is the best card that we've had, that we have had to do with love. So, romance. It is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. Okay, I love this. So, beautiful. I love that. So, next, next, next. I had an eyelash on my table. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a really weird mood today. So, we have Yod Destiny. I find the word Yod really weird. Does anybody else find that really weird? I don't know. Anyway. Tenth house, the world, okay. <laughs> I'm in a really weird mood today, guys. I have no idea. It's the energies, guys. They're freaking playing with me. Okay, okay, we have the tenth house twice. That's amazing. And then we have the elephant and the crocodile. Okay, I'm literally gonna sing everything I say. Oh yeah, everything I say. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Right, <laughs> so we have the Yod Destiny card, first of all. This is showing me that you guys are really going into your, where you need to go. You are definitely where you need to go, where you need to go. You are definitely where you need to be. You are really tuning into your energy. And I do feel as if you are very much on the correct path. I feel like you could be meeting a Taurus through work. I mean, we do have the 10th house twice. We have it in this card and this card here. And whenever I get this card, it's always about your move. It's like, keep making the moves, keep doing the thing. Don't wait around for your man's or your woman's. Don't wait around for this to kind of happen. Do the work as well. So with the two and the three, two and three could be your numbers as well. But I do feel as if, yeah, there could be like your life path or anything like that, life path numbers. And also, I'm really being drawn to, not to promote myself, but this is why I sell crystals to, to you know, help you guys. I'm really getting drawn to <clears throat> my uh, chakra set that I have on my shop. Um, I sell it with a selenite bowl as well to help charge the tumble stones. But I'm really getting drawn to this. I feel like this is just a really nice practical um, crystal set for you guys as well. It's practical, but it's also, I mean, all my crystals are pretty much practical. They all have properties, but... The chakra set will be really good at helping you balance out just all your energies and helping you stay on track. So just that's just a suggestion for you guys. You do not have to do that. If you're drawn to it, have a look at the um, link down below for my website. Okay, so I do feel like with that, in, with that saying that, I feel like you guys are focusing on your chakras. You're focusing on if there's any kind of thing that needs to be adjusted, you're right there adjusting it straight away. I think you're very practical. I do definitely feel like you're drawing in somebody who's also very practical, somebody who's a fixed sign. So Aquarius, Virgo, um, I mean, Virgo isn't a fixed sign, but I'm picking up on Virgo as well. Libra, I'm picking up on Taurus, obviously Scorpio, Leo, and Scorpio as well. Okay, so I do feel like you're focusing on things that really light you up, things that make you feel really fiery. And I do feel as if the elephant here, he is some, he is an entity that kind of takes away that blockage of anything kind of blocking your way. 
So I do feel as if that because the elephant is kind of, it's like stopping the blockage kind of coming through, I feel as if there, the energy is like whenever you feel as if you need to kind of tune into yourself. Basically, if you feel yourself forcing your energy, the elephant is telling you to keep constantly focusing on what you're drawn to. So if you're kind of going further and further away from that, I do feel as if this may be an energy of coming back to yourself and that's going to realign you. As I say, that's probably why I mentioned the chakra energy because I feel as if you keep needing to realign yourself, but that's great because I do feel like you're very sensitive. So I do feel that it's really, really important for you to just focus on what feels right for you in this moment and not so much focusing on other people. Obviously, of course, you can focus on other people. Of course you can. But I do feel as if it's really, really important for you guys to keep constantly coming back to yourself. And I love the energy of the odd because that's uh, a triangle and it's a very a nice energy. It's very feminine energy. So I do feel as if the aspect here, especially with the 10th house, I do feel like you in your, your, um, in your chart, you may have yod, but also your partner may have yod in their chart. Also with the 10th house and this, I do feel like things are starting to line up. And I do feel as if you are going to be feeling like you're on the right track. I feel like your career is going to start to kind of blow up a bit more you're going to start you are focusing on your career as well but the 10th house is it is about career and it can be about fame as well so you may actually meet someone famous i do feel like if you want to be famous or you want to kind of be well known you will meet somebody who's more well known i do feel like your reputation and your image is very very important to you i mean the 10th 10th house can also rule masculine men fathers fame and things like that so i do feel like this is attracting in a masculine energy so if you're not attracted to men or masculine energies i do feel like you may just um, attract a masculine energy that's your friend or um, it could be even be a child who's somebody else's child like a friend's child it could be like a little boy or something who just really lights your world up and makes you more open-hearted not saying obviously you're not open-hearted at all but i'm just saying your heart chakra will become much more open when you are around this individual but i do feel like for those of you who are interested in males you're definitely going to be interested in this person they are so sexy and they're so amazing and they're very they've got a very large energy they're somebody you, who you can't miss and i mean elephants are freaking huge and so are crocodiles i mean baby crocodiles are really cute though if anybody else thinks this i mean this is, must be a scorpio thing because i like i think all the weird animals are cute so <laughs> i'm like if anyone's gonna love them it's gonna be me okay so the crocodile is watching and waiting to like you know attack to kind of you know jump on it so i do feel i'm getting that song jump on it i love that song um the crocodile energy is watching and waiting for the right time to kind of come in so i do feel as if when when it does it's impactful it's quick it's fast so i do feel when you are ready for this partner it will come in quite quickly i do feel around christmas time you're going to start to manifest more love and relationships i do feel when um obviously this is a timeless reading so just take it as it resonates but when we go into the aquarius uh, generation the Aquarius age I do feel you're going to start to manifest more relationships in your life that are more authentic to you and this is quite normal anyway because we are uh, I do feel like a lot of us who have done a lot of work on ourselves and we're very um, those of us who are on the high vibing energy I do feel as if a lot of us who have been single obviously for a very long time we're going to start to meet people. That is kind of what the energy around the Aquarian energy is about. It's meeting people who are authentic to us. So if we, if you guys have been struggling to find somebody who's on your wavelength, be prepared because there's somebody coming in and there's a lot of people coming in, I'm feeling. So we have insecurity and recovery. So you guys are feeling insecure. You're kind of worried that your love life isn't going to kind of get there. I feel like you have definitely been working on your authenticity and focusing on things that really suit you so i don't feel like you're doing anything wrong guys i feel like it's mainly just your insecurities that are kind of getting in the way a little bit so we have metamorphosis we have the five of wands a lot of fives so a lot of change a lot of on the brink of change that's what i'm hearing seven of rings investment diligence i feel like you've held so many people up it's time for somebody to hold you up now okay that's what i'm hearing so Okay, let's get a couple more. Whoa, okay. All right, we have the 10 of rings and we have justice. 
Okay, so I really like the energy of karmic balance. I think you're really, that is definitely what you're doing. You guys are going for a really big change. We had the energy of metamorphosis here and self-awareness. That is exactly what I was feeling. You guys are really focusing on inner change. And I do feel as if the person you're going to meet is going to be very balanced. And it's almost like you're not meant to know who this person is. I feel like they're going to be hidden from you. So if you guys have had a reading before and they've all also told you that you're not meant to know, maybe that's that energy because I feel like you're very, very close to meeting this person. It's almost like you're not meant to know. But look how gorgeous this is. You have a complete abundance underneath the, underneath the, under, wow, underneath the deck. So you're going to attain all of these cups. It's going to be so perfect. This is going to be somebody you're most likely going to have children with if that's something that you are wanting. I'm seeing marriage, I'm seeing children, I'm seeing a lot of money, I'm just seeing somebody who just matches your vibration. So that is just something that you've been wanting for such a long time. So tell me about this person, please. Okay, got Sag, Mars, and the ninth house. So ninth house is ruled by Sag. It's about freedom. It is about feeling um, around law and religion and facts and things like that. So you could be going for a really big awakening around what's going on around the world. And you could be feeling quite frustrated, but it could also be awakening you. And I do feel like the Mars energy is drawing you towards more masculines. So if you are not attracted to masculine, as I say, there is a masculine in your life who will really affect you. It could be um, a relationship with your father could be improving or something like that. I do feel as if if you guys are very interested in masculine, there's definitely a male coming towards you who's most likely going to be a Sag or I'd say all the signs that I've already mentioned. This person's really into travel. They love spirituality. They love anything to do with expanding their mind. They're very intellectual. They talk a lot. <laughs> there's somebody who talks a lot. And there's somebody who is just very, very interested in you. They really want to know everything about you in your life. So that's gorgeous. So let's get you a chakra card and really drawn to one of these cards. So, oh yes, love that. Okay, so we have well-being with the sacral chakra. As I say, very, very sensual energy. This person is very sensual and they're very natural sensual beings. Beings? Yeah, beings. <laughs> they, are, they are a natural sensual being. They're somebody who doesn't like force or push their sensuality. They literally just allow it to be there and you get drawn to them naturally. So patience, as I observe in nature, growth takes time. This is a time for reflection, persistence and surrender as things unfold at their own pace. I remain calm and tolerable, sorry, tolerant during any challenging times. I develop quiet hope and expectations based on trust, both in myself and a higher power. So you guys are definitely feeling it. You're wanting somebody and it, it can be hard sometimes, but just know that this is coming. It just may take a little bit more time, okay? But it is coming, okay? And if you can be patient within this energy, that is the best thing you can do because then you're just still working on that, on yourself without kind of being interrupted by challenges and things like that. Also, I'm hearing don't listen to somebody if they're being really nasty to you. That's more about them than about you, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you are drawn to get a private reading with me, then please have a look down below. Also, with my crystal shop, I sell these gorgeous pink opal uh, towers. They're also on my crystal shop. So thank you so much for being here. If you also feel drawn to subscribe, please do. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the Rhodonite Tower. These are really lovely. They're really lovely to hold. They're very... Um, weighted so that's really nice a lovely crystal gorgeous for heart chakra it's also to do the root as well so it's going to help you to be very grounded in love so you may be feeling like everything's a little bit like oh, at the moment like you can't really focus so I do feel like this is a really good energy for you guys I am picking up a lot of you guys are earth signs or you have earth really strongly in your chart so moon rising or sun so just picking that up or venus all right glamour beautiful so into this mirror, I now see the realms of possibility. That is beautiful. So I do feel like you're focusing on things that make you just feel really good. And this can be eating good foods, putting on some lovely clothes and just treating yourself because we are in a time of very deep confusion and everything is very weirdly serious and life isn't always serious. So it's really good for you guys to do things that make you feel happy and light. And to do things that make you laugh as well, that's going to really help you to stay in your energy and stay grounded. Okay, so I do feel like your heart chakra has been very deeply affected by a lot of the energies right now. 
So remember to know that not everything is your energy and if you need to clear, I would highly recommend smudging, saging, you know, all that jazz, getting an incense stick, waving it around or a selenite stick, you know, you can get ones like these or you can get like things like this, you know, like woo, wave it around. <laughs> so that could be helpful for you as well. All right, we have the sixth house, perfect, twice. And then we have the waning crescent, beautiful. Okay, so let's see what's coming towards you guys. We have a lot of animal cards. I don't think I'll be able to fit these in here, but we will see. So we have the stingray and the bat. So that's kind of what you're working on now. Feel free to switch the animals around. We have the moth and we also have the octopus. So that is beautiful. All right, let's start off with these cards over here. So the Gemini energy is all about you and your mind. It's the way you think, it's the way you express yourself, it's the way you it's rule speech as well. So I do feel as if your routine is more focused on your speech. It could be something to do with your mouth as well. You could be working on, I don't know, jaw exercises or getting dental work done, or it could even be to do with um, kind of oral health. So it could be something to do with like, taking care of your oral health and making sure that everything is good there because um, that can actually affect your entire body. Like if you don't floss and things, that can actually affect your body. Um, so, which I didn't know. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay, girl, she needs to floss more. Um, but yeah, so Gemini, I think is definitely about you getting new ideas. And I think you're gonna get new ideas within your daily routines. So as I say, the sixth house is about daily routines. It's also about service, it's health, it's fitness. So you could be improving your health and fitness. And this could also be how you meet your person. It could be through work. It could be through you work as a fitness trainer, you're a yoga instructor, you work at a gym, you know, all that jazz. It's also about organization. It's ruled by Virgo. It's also nature and pets as well. So you could be having a new pet. You could meet your person at a dog shelter or something like that. Very random, but tis possible, girl, tis possible. Ooh, okay, that flower just knocked over. There you go, girl, we'll put, put you back. Okay, so with the sixth house, it's very much about seeing things as as they are. So not pushing, not forcing them and knowing that you are doing the best that you can, okay? And knowing that that's enough. So you don't have to really force things to allow them to, to have them happen and you can't control everything. Okay, I know you want to girl, but you can't control everything. Have you noticed that we have 15 and 15 and then we have 30 because obviously two 15s are 30. That is amazing. So literally, all the time that you're working on yourself, you're going to manifest your partner, you know? So all the time you're focusing on what needs to be done within you, that is what you're gonna be. So I do feel as if the the stingray and the bat, this is very much to do with transformation and allowing and working on your chakras. I actually do have a chakra kit on my website as well. If you guys are interested, I don't normally like to promote myself, but it just happens because I love to help you guys with my crystals. So that is there for you if you wanna check it out. Also I have a selenite charging bowl for charging the tumble stones and that comes like a gift set. So that's there for you as well. All right, so coming out of the darkness and just allowing things to flow naturally. Then same with the moth coming out of the darkness and this is where you're going towards. So can you see how the bat is like moving away from the moon and then the moth is moving into the light? it's almost like you are allowing yourself to have more freedom. So it could be that you're exercising more, it could be that you are eating better foods, or your mind is just clearer because maybe you have kind of gone for a transformation and you're out the other side. Also with the octopus, I'm gonna have a look in the book and we're gonna have a look in the book and we're gonna see. We also have the same energy, we have two water and two air. So you are definitely shifting into a new vibration for yourself that's a little bit unknown and Gemini is all about air and it can be quite flighty it can be a little bit un unhinged so the more organized you can be the better because I feel like you guys maybe your house is a little bit messy you may need to kind of organize your house um, and therefore that could also be your body as well organizing and detoxing your body because that could be affecting how you're interacting with your relationships I'm actually hearing hormonal things as well. So there might be something to do with your hormones. So just obviously I'm not a health physician or anything like that. But if you are getting drawn to have a look at your, your hormones or anything like that, I would highly suggest um, for a crystal, I highly suggest Moonstone. It's really good for menstrual cycles um, and health. That is in my crystal shot. I have a gorgeous Moonstone necklace. I wear it every day. It's great for bloating as well. Those of you especially have Virgo or Virgo rising, it'll really help you because you guys are ruled by the stomach. And when you get stressed, you might get bloated. Um, also, there's another thing that I'm picking up on. 
is your bloating or your stomach and your throat is very affected by your emotions. So don't feel like you can't speak your truth. So if you are getting affected by your throat, it may be because you can't speak your truth. So really allow yourself to speak your truth, but also obviously kindly and not nastily. Just like speak your truth as much as you can. So octopus is about reaching, yearning, lacking boundaries and direction. So it says when in balance, interested, engaged and intelligent, when out of balance, needy, clinging, lacks courage. To bring to balance space to oneself, talk therapy. Talk therapy, girl. Yes, queen. Okay, so that is going to really help you. You guys may actually also be in some sort of therapy or need to talk to a friend. That is really going to help you to clear this karma, girl, okay? And that's going to bring you towards your love life because it's going to allow you to engage in this new energy. I'm going to quickly look up the waning crescent as well. It's going to give you a little bit more info. Let's have a look and see waning crescent waning crescent surrender a time for recuperation and rest and the fact we have that in the sixth house is all about your health and your health journey and your person you and your person may have gone through a really intense health journey so when you meet your person you'll be like yeah this is what i've been through it's been really rough and they're gonna be like oh my god i went through the exact same thing or maybe you went you went through the same things when you were the same age I do feel as if you guys, you could meet somebody who's the same age as you, or they could be about three years older than you, okay? That is what I'm picking up on. All of these? Yep, they're saying all of them. All right. We have the Hierophant, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Rings, beautiful, the Lovers, oh girl, and we have the Dawn of Cups. So this is all, I feel like they're saying this, that's all we need to do. Is there anything, can I pick from underneath? Yep, they're saying, look underneath the deck. Six of rings, generosity and assistance. That is literally the sixth house. That's gorgeous. So I do feel as if you could definitely meet someone through doing something of service. So it could be like you have services yourself. You could be self-employed. Um, you could be a healer. You could be somebody who works, let's say, in a gym or something like that. You could be a herbalist. That could be a job that you're striving towards. And when you do that, you then become, um, I'm hearing like an antenna for your person because you're following your path. They could, I'm seeing they could actually work in a gym. They could be a fitness trainer. You don't actually have to meet them in the gym if you don't go to the gym. It could just be that they're a fitness trainer and you may see them on Instagram, but I do feel they're going to hit you up or you're gonna, they're going to message you. But obviously, however you guys want to do it, that's totally up to you. All right, so I'm getting really drawn to this girl here and she's got this little line going into the earth so i feel like the more grounded you can be the better the more going out going out nature's going to really help you so spirituality and knowledge and wheel of fortune you guys are coming into a brand new cycle of your life you are going to manifest lots of money and you're going to get manifest a lot of recognition and success i feel like you're going to get a drawn people are going to get drawn to you and those people who are going to get drawn to you are one of those is going to be your person so i do feel like for you guys you are the sort of group that manifests a lot of people in your life. So I feel like if you haven't really manifested any groups yet, I feel like if you are somebody who is wants to be in the public eye or you are in the public eye, you are going to meet a lot of people. One of those people is going to be your soulmate. And I do feel they're going to, they're going to see your authenticity and you both are going to be on a very high vibing spiritual path. You both are going to want the best for humanity. And when you come together, your, your vibration is like, wow, it expands so much. And I feel like the more you can kind of come back to yourself in your own aura is going to be really, really important to you because you are very sensitive and your aura can stretch quite wide and therefore it can touch a lot of people, especially when you're in a crowded environment. So it's really important for you to, even when you're actually far away from people, it can affect you. So keep coming back to yourself, keep giving to yourself. You and this person are going to be very curious about each other. You're going to get a lot of recognition from this person. I do feel like they're going to be like your number one fan. Whether you want the recognition or not, you're going to get it, girl. Um, and I do feel like there's definitely going to be like a massive elevation. So essentially, this is going to come in divine timing. I feel within the next five months, I feel like you could essentially meet this person. I'm picking up really strong Aquarian, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Sag vibes from this group. So if those are sort of um, energies you want to go into, then I feel them. I feel they're going to be, I feel it's somebody you've never met before. So if you already know somebody, it may or may not be them. I'm Obviously it depends on the person. I feel like if this is somebody who's really genuine and very kind, it could be them. But I do feel like for a lot of you guys who've never met anyone, I feel like this person is just going to be the best person you've ever met in your life. They're just going to be so gentle, so genuine, so loving. And 
you're not going to you're going to almost be surprised by how much effort they put in for you and you're going to be like wow this is so perfect so Gemini we had that before which is gorgeous eighth house and Venus so this person's going to be very sensual very tactile they could have uh, Gemini in their Venus so they could have a hard time making decisions so that may be why it may have taken them quite a long time for them to come to you because maybe they have kind of veered off a couple of times but that's okay everyone you know is at their own pace and we all come together in our own timing Venus is all about love and appreciation. Beauty is what we love in life. So you guys, as long as you're going towards what you love, there's nothing here that can stop you, okay? And if you are struggling to find that, you will find that. And it's finding your voice as well. And also finding your sensuality. Like when you figure out what feels good for you, physically, nurturing, like sensually, this is gonna really, really help you to open yourself up. And I do feel like the more you go towards what you really love and not what everybody else wants you to do or wants you to be or you think what people want that's gonna help you to shift into your energy and i do feel like gemini's and libras have a very similar energy they can be the sort of almost a little bit people pleasing so on some level obviously not every single person but that energy can be semi people pleasing you know it can be i'm going to do this for you because i know you love that which is very genuine and beautiful but you got to remember to be in your own lane as well because you're going to be an individual and your person's going to be an individual as well so making sure you keep staying to your lane and you'll meet somebody who's also an individual so you're both interdependent and you're not depending on each other which is so gorgeous so Thank you so much for watching guys. Also, I'm hearing that you don't have to do loads of things to feel productive. I feel like there's an energy of, I have to do lots of things, like that octopus energy, like lots of arms, like oh, lots of things in one, in one time. I feel like as long as you're focusing on what you love doing, you don't have to do everything all at once, guys, okay? And I'm gonna pull you one more card. I'm gonna get you a chakra card. Let's see what chakra card wants to come out. Ooh, okay beautiful i love this i accept the oneness of all life and i know that i am one with all others on this journey i support them and let them support me i am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance lovely so as you're reading guys if you are drawn to please have a look down below for my private readings and my crystal shop if you're also drawn to subscribe please do if you haven't already thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye